Another patient category in which draws may be difficult are geriatrics. Their veins can be hard to find due to dehydration, loss of patency, low blood pressure, and so on. Also, geriatrics have limited range of motion due to arthritis, injury, or stroke. So hyperextending their arm to survey for available veins may not be possible. Their veins can also be sclerosed, rendering them less resilient than those of younger patients. It can also make veins feel more like a tendon because they don't bounce back like veins do. Geriatrics also have rolling veins and collapsing veins, and they're also prone to hematoma formation. You know, you've probably seen it happen. You find a vein, insert the needle perfectly, and the blood fills the tube, but at the same time a hematoma is rapidly forming at the insertion point. That's because their veins have lost their elasticity. You know, in younger patients, those veins are much more elastic. The vein retracts and closes in around the needle when it's inserted, but for geriatrics, the vein doesn't. Instead, blood oozes around the shaft of the needle and into the tissue, so we've got this rapidly forming hematoma right before our eyes. Also in geriatrics, their pulse can be less obvious, making accidental arterial puncture more likely. As for solutions to all of these, starting with our hard-to-find veins, fist clenching might not be possible due to weakness, incoherence, or coma, or arthritis, so we might not have that luxury. We can use a blood pressure cuff, though, for more uniform constriction, but just make sure that we limit inflation to just below the diastolic blood pressure. You can try asking the patient to drink water and return later. Hydrating can help if the patient is dehydrated and has low blood volume, but we don't often have that luxury of having the patient come back, and this is usually only something we can employ in an outpatient setting. We can fully extend the arm, but realize that sometimes full flexing can actually flatten the veins and make them more difficult to find, not less. This doesn't happen so much when the skin is loose, but if the skin is very tight upon full flexing, it can flatten the veins. So if you can't locate any veins in the antecubital area, try bending the elbow slightly so that the skin isn't as taut and the veins aren't flattened. When you're fully extending the arm, be careful that you don't force the arm to go where it doesn't want to go. Geriatrics often have limited range of motion due to arthritis, injury, and stroke. And we can also pre-warm the site. We can also rotate the wrist. This can change the orientation of the musculature or the position of the veins in such a manner so as to reveal veins that might otherwise be obscure. We can lower the arm and let gravity work for us. We can use smaller volume tubes. You know, you always have to anticipate that you're not going to get as much blood as you'd like, so let's stock our draw stations and collection trays with a wide variety of tubes of lesser volumes so that you can submit fully filled tubes for testing. This includes having microcapillary tubes available that require a milliliter of blood or less.